Howdy folks, welcome back to yet another of my World of Tanks replays with the Mighty Jingles. And we're in the Panzer II Lux again. One of my all-time favourite tanks in the game. It is just the cutest little thing you have ever seen. There should be somebody standing behind it with a little radio control pack. Because it's, look, I mean, it's even got a little radio antenna. I mean, look at it. It's a radio controlled tank. Oh. Now, my previous Lux replay, um, was using it as a scout. Uh, it was a tier 5 or 6 game. Um, and, and that's where you're going to find yourself most of the time in this thing. But the matchmaker is a lot more generous to this than it is the, power, uh, the Leopard at tier 4. Uh, and certainly the VK2801 at tier 5. Because this thing's only tier 3. You will find yourself in tier 3 games. Which this isn't. Um, but it is a tier 4 game, so we can play this thing a lot more aggressively than you usually have to. So the first thing I'm going to do is, well, I am effectively one of the scout tanks still on the team, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to scout. But whereas in a tier 5 or 6 game in this thing, you'd have to just scout, because this is only tier 4, we can have a little bit of fun. Now, I do run this thing with the stock turret and the 20mm flat gun. And I do that because it reduces the weight considerably. And it does make a big difference to the way this thing handles. If I'd had the upgraded turret and the 50mm cannon in this game, I would certainly have done more damage. But, you know, you pay your money, you take your choice. I've, I've accepted that with this 20mm gun, as you can see, it doesn't do an awful lot of damage. Jeez, how heavily armoured is an M5? But that's the choice that you know. That's the decision that you make when you run with this setup. You are not going to do as much damage with a 20 mil flat gun in a tier four or five game, unless you can track down and kill their artillery, and that's pretty much all you're good for. Um. You ain't going to get many kills in this, with this setup. Unless you end up in a tier 3 game, which, yeah, you can. Um, but, what you are doing, even though you're not doing much damage, is harassing fire. What you're going to find a lot of the time, people are getting hit, especially if they're getting hit rapidly, and from an unexpected direction, it messes up their judgement. I mean, that, that T28, yeah, all right, I can hurt a T28, I can hurt an SU-85B, they don't have much armour, but most of my shots are missing at this range. All it's really doing is making them back off. And your team will take advantage of that. In effect, all I'm actually doing here is giving these guys free steel walls. Assuming they survive. Um, you blast, you, you, you loose off hundreds of shots with this gun. Very few of them hit, <laughs> unless you're at point blank range. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing between 20 and 40 damage with each hit, which is trivial. But it's not the damage that we're doing, it's the fact that we're spotting all these fellas. Hey, we finally get a kill. <laughs> Killing T28 is an odd. Uh, yeah, it's not the damage that we're doing, it's the fact that we're spotting these guys, enabling the team to hit them. And we're keeping them in a low level state of panic because they are getting hit. And they don't know where it's coming from. And now there's only three of them left. We've pretty much done our job here. And it's time to get stuck in and do some close range work. Now I do admit, um, and there's certainly nothing wrong with it, if you run the looks with the big turret, uh, the big heavy turret, and the 50mm gun, you will get more kills. No question about it. Um, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that setup. I personally prefer 
Here we go. Personally prefer the stop turret and the 20mm flat gun just because it makes this thing so incredibly fast. Uh, the reduced weight from the stock turret and the 20mm gun, um, it saves you tons of weight. Uh, and it really does affect the speed and the handling of this little thing. And for me, the looks is all about the speed and the handling. Um, that's just what makes it fun. So how do we do personally? <laughs> there we go, 162 shots fired, 61 hit the target. This thing doesn't do your accuracy rating any favours whatsoever. Uh, one kill, four damaged, didn't do a lot of damage, um, but five detected, which isn't bad. And of course, as with every other scout tank, well, with every other tank in the game, but it, it's of more benefit to the scouts, like the looks. All these guys that we detected, everybody who, who finished them off, we get 50% of their credits and experience. And as you can see, uh, you know, for a tier three tank, that's that's about what twenty two hundred. That's just over seven hundred experience, which isn't bad for a tier three tank. Um, and it actually made quite a quite a uh, respectable amount of cash as well. But you know, screw the experience, screw the cash. This thing is fun, and that's what it's all about. If you're driving one of these little speedy little monsters, always a pleasure to play, no matter what game you get into. You get into a higher tier game well you're a great scout you really really are if you get into uh, a lower tier game tier three or four you can have a lot of fun you can be more aggressive it's just a joy to play uh, this is a keeper i'm never getting rid of it i take it out for a spin w when you have those games where your team just completely sucks or where you really screw up and things start getting frustrating there are a couple of tanks that i can always rely on to put a smile on my face the Marder 2 is one of them, the Lux is the other one, and I save this thing for when I'm having a crappy day, the games aren't going my way, pull the Lux out of the garage and you just drive around and have some fun. And that's pretty much what it's for. So I hope you enjoyed the replay, showing the Lux playing slightly more aggressively, if not, uh, <laughs> still not quite effectively. Um, uh, so that was the replay, yep, Panzer 2 Lux, Tier 3, Light Tank, loads of fun. Fantastic little scrappy do tank, um, and a, it's a, just a joy to play. Highly recommend everybody has one of these little things in their garage. So I've been the Mighty Jingles. That was the Panzer Two Looks. Catch you next time.